As we told you earlier in this newscast, August has been one of the deadliest months in Afghanistan for U.S. troops since the war began there eight years ago. A soldier from the Bay Area has become one of the most recent casualties. Today, KTVU's Rita Williams talked with his family and friends about their painful loss. On this Concord Street today, flags flew at half-staff for an Army captain who grew up here but died in Afghanistan 7,400 miles away. It's where he needed to be. It was his mission. You know, my heart's broken, and but uh, he's still with us. A table inside the house looms like a shrine for Captain John Hallett III, with John's many accomplishments crammed into his short 30 years. Always smiling, playing sports from an early age, excelling in water polo at De La Salle High School, a player and coach during his four years at West Point. He wasn't an Army guy. He had no political interest. He just was a happy-go-lucky little kid that would skip around the world. He just was the sweetest little kid. Not an enemy in the world and not a warrior bone in him. Oh, he knew how to fight and beat up his brothers. John Hallett was six foot one. His two younger brothers laughed that it always bothered him that he was the oldest, but... He was always the shortest. It turned out to be the shortest. Last week in southern Afghanistan, an IED exploded and killed Hallett and three other soldiers. I don't know if we had the, the inner strength and determination to do, what, to do what he had to do. On Saturday, there will be a funeral mass for Captain John Hallett here at St. Agnes Catholic Church in Concord, the same church where just six years earlier he married his hometown love, Lisa Garner, as he left then for Iraq and now in mid-July this year for Afghanistan. He was an engineer, he loved to fix things, you know, he loved to solve problems. <laughs> and this was a pretty big problem to, to try to solve. His family says John would not want them to mourn him, but to tell Americans to remember the men and women still fighting for their country. It was what he wanted to do. He lived by a code of duty, honor, country. We have a little, they had a code, I mean, Class motto, 2001 at West Point. Till duty is done. And our son's duty is done now. <laughs> Those who love John Hallett the most say he will now live on in the three children he adored. Jackson, almost four, Bryce, two this week, and four-week-old Heidi, the first girl in this family of boys, a baby her father did not live long enough to see. In Concord, Rita Williams, KTVU, Channel 2 News.